VP of my company shot himself in the foot tears of joy. I have been with the company F for almost four years and I love what I do. My co-workers are great people and management is fine as well. I am very grateful that they gave me a chance when no one else would. But I am on my second week of my two-week notice. Why you ask? Because our VP is an out-of-touch asshole. Who is also a misogynistic pig. I didn't like the VP from the moment I met him my first week. He came off as a know-it-all with a hint of superiority. He would interject himself into meetings he had no business being it and go on lengthy tangents about things that had nothing to do with the said meeting. He is the kind of person who, during the pandemic, would tell us, grunts, how his whole family is home and that he has to work from his lake house. He bought Samsung tablets that never worked properly. He thought that he was doing us a kindness gifting us coloring books and pencils. But tell us we are not allowed to color at our desks. On to the reason I decided to leave. We had yet another pointless meeting to which he decided to be a part of. He started going on about how grateful he is to us and how awesome of a job we are doing. But he feels that we aren't doing enough. He gave us a list of future experiences and it looked like he was trying to eliminate two other departments and put that work on us. And then the topic of raises came up. Keep in mind we haven't had any since 2019. He decided to tell us that beyond our merit increase. In March. Raises are off the table. Because we are making the market fair wages and he will not discuss this with us anymore. That already visibly irritated quite a few of the participants. What was a real cherry on the cake when he decided to summon all of his testicular fortitude and tell us, a bunch of women, that we are setting a poor example when we are sitting in our cars, putting on makeup and brushing our hair, because we aren't ready for work yet. At that point I just left the team's meeting. Long story short. That same day I applied for a few jobs and very next week I had an offer from company T for a higher hourly rate and a lot less work. I also looked at the job posting at the company F and needless to say, the open position tripled since last week. The moral of the story is, don't tell your overworked and underpaid staff that they are making enough because they will find something better was hoping he actually shot himself in the foot but this is cool too i guess lmao congrats on leaving that vp was toxic someone making hundreds of thousands or millions per year has no right to tell anyone they are making enough testicular fortitude is a wonderful turn of phrase hands clapping like others I was fairly sure he had literally shot himself in the foot. And I was here for it. But I'm here for your story. And you get a big virtual hug from me. Good luck at your new job. Only mild shade that you led me on. Thinking I'd get a good bullet in the foot story. People don't leave bad jobs, they leave bad managers. Reminds me of one of my old call center jobs. After five years of negotiations, the boss raised our pay to three cents per hour above minimum wage. And now I do not want to hear talk about raises for at least five years. Got it? Quote. Yes. We got it. A lot of us quit that very same week. If not same day. I personally just stopped showing up. Dude bought his third house that year and tried to tell us he could barely afford to keep us employed. Fuck em all. Bosses are never friends. I was really hoping you would say that he actually shot himself in the foot. Testicular fortitude. I'm going to steal this and use it again and again. Take my thieving up vote. Wait. Okay, but, coloring books and pencils? See if you can get some of your old co-workers hired at Company T. 
You've disappointed many people by the lack of shot fest in the story op. Sounds like an incredibly out of touch individual. Need to know your audience. Something he clearly doesn't get. Can't blame you for leaving that. Very disappointed I was expecting a yarn about your VP shooting himself in the foot. This is not how I expected this story to go. I was looking forward to the circumstances of the VP actually shooting himself in the foot. What is VP? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.